<laughs> what is up you guys and of course welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly the Skyrender and today I got myself a match against the Rizzle Man. He's a follower on my Twitch channel and he's been asking for a battle for some time and wanted to show his Abra and I was really fearing this guy because I kind of had the ground premise that he's probably the tricks to play so I'll consider how we worked up with him plus I've seen him going like, up against Anima and yeah He's definitely a smart player. He doesn't re rely on sweepers and anything like that. He rather have uh, his opponent do the key plays and he just uh, trolling around it and it puts the opponent and it pretty much shuts down the team, honestly. So I was really fair in this guy. So even though by premise I have the stronger team, I don't have enough bulk to be able to stall him out and try to win him at his own game. So I really need to be uh, much more offensively here. And it's going to showcase that that is probably not what my team was built on and uh, as a result this could become a really weird game because he definitely puts me in a position where I made a lot of, I got very insecure and made a lot of weird plays to be, just try, try to recover and uh, yeah he played great and it, to be honest that is why I uploaded this battle because this battle was incredible because of it. So other than that guys, um, just Dusknor is going to be the huge threat really but other than that I'm just going to try to win the game really. So uh, I'm gonna start off with Dry on here and I'm expecting the live pod to start here. Anyway, let's go. And the thing I was here, I really just want to go for Dragon Tail. I was hoping for him going for a taunt or anything like that with live pod. So I am of course um, having the right way that he's gonna go for live pod. So anyway, like I said, going for Dragon Tail, he actually started off right off the bat with a substitute. And my Dragon Tail is actually not enough to break the sub. Which is rather scary to be honest, and uh, I've decided here to go for Stealth Rocks. You never go for Stealth Rocks against a Live Pod, and I know this. I know this, but I'm so stupid, I just totally blacked out, and of course it's gonna encore me, which means that I'm locked in. I'm just gonna go for a Force Switch here to DNA, just going for a U-turn, break the sub really. Uh, he actually switch out to his, um, to his Lupany. And I really didn't know what kind of set this could be. He's going to fake out, so... And it did actually some fair damage, like, a little too much. And he's going to go for a switcheroo and give me the freaking flame orb. And... Yeah, that's an issue, because that means that my DNA, which is choice banded, of course, or were choice banded, can't really now function, and that's a huge problem. So anyway, I was expecting him to go for a switch here, that's why I went for Dragon Tail. Of course he's a smarter player and uh, just a single for jump kick. So the Abra comes in and I know this thing must pack a grass knot. So I saw this as an honest chance of Seratul coming in and uh, pretty much start building up superpowers. But I, I do know that he got the Dusknow inbound which means that I can't really directly go for superpower even though I wanted to. So that's why I went for Night Slash and of course that will do terrible damage. And in conjunction with the Rocko Helmet was just terrible. And I know this thing can have U-turn, so I decided to switch out. It goes for Thunder Wave, luckily for me. And um, we go for Substitute here. I just went for Play Rough. I just want this thing out of the way. I am able to break the sub. Which means that I think that a U-turn could probably take him out. Consider how much the sub is about 25% roughly. I'm an idiot. Like, sincerely an idiot here. And you get hit by a Rocky Helmet and I don't take him out. And that's generally frustrating because that means that I'm forced to bring a ride on and try to finish off this game and getting some unnecessary damage on him and uh, I mean knockoff sure it doesn't do too much but basically I'm shutting my ride on down because of the rocky helmet so his right on this bat uh death order for me I'm just gonna go for an EQ but he's just go for a right play and go right off the bat for the aqua jet destroying my ride on of course he never gets to keep his eagle eyes ever I feel sorry for this guy so anyway, going to Beatrix here, I actually thought that I could outspeed poor Panda. Like, really? I, I don't know what I was thinking here. Of course, Float Seagull is faster, and I knew this. So going to Saratul here, I know I a Crunch won't take me out, and um, I'm just gonna go for a Super Power. I actually expected him to go for a Waterfall, but seeing that he went for a Crunch, which should be a stronger move, I was thinking that it might be just that he just had Aqua Jet, and that is why. So anyway, uh, kind of lucky to consider that and a defense drop would actually have uh, raised my speed instead, or might raise my defense. So anyway, he didn't switch out, I went for the dark uh, or night slash because I was thinking the dust was coming in. So he's gonna taunt me now, 
and go for a Dusk Gnome and I'll go of course for that superpower which is gonna be very unnecessary and yeah very very smart play there really <laughs> so I'm gonna go for the Night Slash anyway and it almost takes out the Dusk Gnome almost and he will go for the Will Wisp and that pretty much shuts down my Malamar which actually could somewhat sweep this game thinking about it I think only Luke Money could have stopped it if I did the right place but I did some questionable plays there and uh, he really is trolling me right now. He's gonna switch out his Dusk Gnome here. And I was really thinking he's gonna try to attack me here. So I went for a Calling Guard. And of course it packs the Toxics. I should really notice considering that Auron got nothing offensively. It's pretty much useless with both and ever at best. And really having my Bit Fist Toxic is really really bad. So even though Reserve does some fair damage. Um, Luckily for me, he did not know about my bed fist set, so he can't really stall or set up against me, which is very, very lucky. But he do pack the surf or the protect, and uh, well, yay, crap, really. So he's gonna stall my turns out, and he's gonna switch out now to his Dusk Gnaw, and uh, it won't, with his stealth rock damage, be able to take out or take on a surf here. So there's Dusk Gnaw away, which I thought was the biggest threat to my team because that was the only poke. Standing away for Malamar, and since I already lost Malamar, it won't really matter. So, anyway, I decided to switch out there, even though I got a cutting guard up because Soxy will actually take me out there. So, I'm just gonna go to Actros, my DNA, trying to get some ship damage. And really, here, I should have stayed in because I won't be able to outspeed her. I don't even know what I was thinking. And really, since Bedfist won't do anything more in this game, it really just was a huge misplay here. And uh, Jump Kick, of course will take me out and the Rocky Helmet won't take him out and really I only have Gogo -Go left now that is worth mentioning and um, I was not sure I could take an Ice Punch I actually lived that with roughly 50% so I was actually like pointing out there like oh yeah it, it's definitely not over and this is great this is really great because they only got Abra and Auron left and uh, Abra of course even though it is able to outspeed won't be able to take and Horn Leech, but I was fearing that it could pack the Psychic, but even if it, or I mean uh, the Focus Ash, but even though it were Focus Ash, I still recover enough HP to actually live, and that is really, really good. And if, let's say that he actually, that uh, Auron here would have been able to take out my Go Goat, Malmar would still be in the bound with the superpower to take it out. So, anyway, uh, the Rizzle Man, this was a very, very fun game. It was incredibly how. You really made me question my moves, and as a result, I really feel that even though my Go Go Terry came through and won me the game, uh, you did some very nice plays, and you really had me playing it very, very safe because of it. And uh, it made me look like a fool, to be honest. If, so, even though I win, I win because of routine plays here in the end. I, I, I really believe you had me go in, and uh, to be honest, I really think you deserve this win. Consider that. You really kept me at bay, and I couldn't, I couldn't win you like stall games at all, really. So yeah, I want to thank, of course, everybody for watching. If you like this battle, of course, make sure to leave a like, and if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. And other than that, a little fast update. Um, I went forward in the Teal League, and yeah, I'm now of the best for two at least. So I won't upload any battles from there just yet before I come out to my trip there, which is. What is that? I'm coming back next Thursday. It's not this Thursday, but next one. So we'll be able to upload those battles then. Hopefully I'll come far enough where an upload there won't really matter. But if, if I'm still like in the semi-finals final, or finals, I still upload it because I know you guys want to see it. I actually have a very, very good team and I'm very proud of it. So I hope that it works. So anyway guys, thank you for watching as always. Don't, and yeah, give a like, stuff like Just come up with your old habits. Remember, the sky is the limit, right? Have a good day and take care. Night. Bye.